Welcome back. PFT Live at the Scouting Combine. Joining us now, a guy who eventually will be getting a nice big college football national championship ring and has hands on the trophy as yeah. a member of the Georgia Bulldogs. George Pickens, wide receiver. George, welcome. How are you, buddy? I'm doing great, man. Uh, it's an honor to be here, to be honest. Uh, I just take one day at a time, and I've been uh, having fun meeting some of, the, some of the other guys. Hey, George, it's not an honor for you. It's an honor for the NFL that talented players like you are there. You're doing them the honor because they need to figure out who the best players are, and they know you're one of them, so they're bringing you in. The honor is on them. I appreciate the fact that you're honored, and we're honored to have you. But you, you're there because you're special, and you're the best in the world at what you do. Don't ever forget that. You're there to help them. They're yes, not sir. there to help you. Anyway, that's one of my soapbox George, issues. it is an honor but, uh, to be here. Yeah. <laughs> it's an honor to, don't yeah. listen to all his. Don't let it's an honor to be poked okay. and prodded. It's an honor to get up at 445 in the morning so you can go pee in a cup. That's a real honor. <laughs> anyway, uh, George, other than that, how's the experience been so far? Man, it's been good. Uh, I mean, everything's been going really smooth. Uh, the interviews and stuff like that, meeting new teams. Uh, like I said, getting connected with the guys. You know, uh, we, w with us winning the Natty this year, all the eyes were on Georgia. So all the other guys, you know, want to talk about how was Bama and how, and how was the game. And uh, that, I just want to speak on that game just a little bit. That game was amazing. It was in, this, it was, it was in Indy, where we are right now. So uh, when I come here, I just get old vibes again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, all the good memories, all the yeah. parties after the game, all the stuff. It was all good here at Indy. All right. So, wait. You went to Hoover High School, right? The yeah. famous Hoover, Alabama. What is wrong with you in your brain? How did you not end up at Alabama or Auburn? Man, uh, it's really just was a – I was committed to Auburn, uh, actually, at first. I was committed to Auburn before I uh, went to Georgia. And uh, Kirby had the last home visit. And uh, – he that sold was, you. It was the last impression I had, and uh, when, when I had that impression, I just I fell in love with the school when I first got to Georgia, and uh, it felt like I was supposed to be there when I arrived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but anything that he said that like you were like, oh, damn, that put it over the edge. Damn, I'm going to Georgia. No, nah, it was really just his demeanor. Right. So like really how he carried himself, I was like, okay, I, yeah. I understand. I, it's like it's like I was already at Georgia, but we we were in the house. Uniforms are cooler, so I give you a lot of props there oh, for yeah. sure. Uh, you look good in number one too. Appreciate right, you. You try to go for number one in the NFL? Uh, yeah, that would be a uh, – that's one of the numbers, of course, I would want, but I wouldn't mind uh, switching it up. Okay, but here's one thing I wanted to ask you, just seriously. Like, coming out – I'm interested you coming out. Yeah. Played four games this year. Like, caught the big touchdown pass here, good vibes, 52-yard yeah. bomb to, yeah. you know, up your butt Alabama. But – did, was how hard was the decision? You know, because uh, you go another year, you put up big stats. You know, you improve your stock. Yeah, uh, it was it was a real hard decision because uh, me coming out playing those four games that I played, I just felt like I uh, I improved a lot. And then my the 2019 campaign and the 2020 COVID campaign, I felt like was two big seasons that people can go back and look on, including the four games of 2021. Right. But uh, man, if I was to come back. It's also a lot of risk of the Might same. Get hurt again. You see the same thing. Right. So like, I just wanted to make the smartest decision and the most business decision. Yeah, I think you made the right, and Mike would agree. We always support that. Yeah, go get it. Well, and George, when we go back to last year, you tear the ACL in spring practice. Walk us through the reaction, the mindset, the resolve that you surely showed in order to get back on the field and play last year. Yeah, man. Uh, my initial reaction, you know, when I first got hurt, was like. You know that 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 moment where you're like, all right, so what's gonna happen now? And that was just the uh, biggest question I had in my head at first when I when I first got injured. But uh, when I when I when I realized that I had the surgery and I was on the on the on the post op part of it of recovering, I knew that I could come back pretty quickly, depending on how hard I put in the work. And when I uh, I put in the work very hard, man. I mean, when I got back on the field, cone drills, uh, get my speed back right. Uh, just little things to improve my game that I was already doing. But when I came back, it just felt even better. And when did you know that you were 100% and you were going to be as good as you've ever been? When did that, when did that flip for you from the injury until the moment you're back on the field? Uh, yeah, I'll probably say November 17th. And that was like uh, one of the practices I got cleared. 
that's when I pretty knew I pre, I was pretty sure that I was gonna be back pretty soon because my cutting started get back right, my speed was back right, my releases. I was going against DBs, you know, react reacting releases is really a big thing of coming off off of ACL and then breaking down in routes. So I pretty I knew at that moment in time that I would probably be back sooner than I thought I would be. Six three one ninety, doing everything tomorrow. Um, I'm going to do the 40 yard and then I'm going to do the uh, vertical. I knew you were going to do the 40. Yeah. I knew it because <laughs> you want to show your ass yeah. there, huh? All right. So give me an idea because I, I, you, you can run by just about anybody, it looks yeah, like. Yeah. And uh, I just really want to showcase my speed. I mean, I catch a lot of deep balls. Right. So I, I, I really thought people were going to catch on. Like, he's got to be fast somehow. So he's getting behind the Everybody. defender. Yeah. But uh, some people are still lost in the water. So I just want to prove to people that. What, what, I are, can we, re- what are we thinking? Like, uh, right now, I'm probably thinking like a 4 4 4. Three. Yeah, four, yeah. Four, four, three. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Get to four three. Yeah, that's a, that's the one. That's you're, one of the. You're gonna dope. open up eyes. That's yeah. the, that's the one. But even if you run four four, your tape speaks for itself. Um, okay. Other thing, receivers in the NFL that you look at. Go. I mean, you you come from a school that's had some good receivers. Yeah. The SEC's crazy in general. I mean, you guys dominate college football. Yeah. But who's the guys you look at to like model your game or you idolize? Yeah. Uh, mainly, man, I, I'll probably say Devontae Adams, and I know that's kind of. He's the best in the league right now, so that's that would be like an easy answer. Yeah, that's but okay. I but I've been watching him since he was at Fresno State. So yeah. like and he's just he's not the fastest guy, but he knows how to get open. And uh I also watch a lot of Cooper Cup. Yeah. And Cooper is just he's smarter than everybody. Right. So like man, that's really one of the things I wanted to Enhanced because I used to watch a lot of Julio. I used to watch a lot of Calvin Johnson. I was, you know, 6'3, 190, the like you said. Yeah, guys, yeah. The freak of nature guys. The freak of nature guys. So, like, and when I found out that 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 path was kind of ending for those guys, I trying to lock in on some new receivers. And right. those, are the guys, those are the guys I kind of picked up on. Yeah. Cool. Coop, Coop and uh, Vontae. Yeah, that's good ones. Yeah. So you left Alabama for Georgia. You get yourself a championship. You come back to Alabama. What's the reception when you return to Alabama after being part of the team that beat Alabama for the title? And you know what's crazy, man? I haven't even been back yet. So like, so <laughs> That's I, can, smart. I can only imagine. That's what, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I can only imagine what's what's the reaction gonna be. I haven't even been back yet, man. That's uh, of course I had that same thought, just like you were saying after we won here at this in this same facility. Uh, but I haven't even returned yet, man. When I return, I'll probably come back on here. <laughs> <laughs> but wait till wait till you get your ring. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then go back, and then if somebody says something, just be like, yeah, suck it, get off. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, hey, George, uh, we wish you all the best as you try to get a ring at the NFL level. First, you got to get a team. The draft is coming. We look forward to seeing where you land and how things go for you. Thanks for some of your time, and we look forward to talking to you again real soon. Thank you, man. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.